What's up everybody? It's Mike from GI Dojo. Just want to show you guys what I got in the mailbox today. A couple new items. Uh, I uh, got some 3D printed White Tiger, you know, late release GI Joe Adventure Team tent poles from uh, a Etsy seller TK360, I think. Uh, if that's not right, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> uh, I got this gas pump, uh, you know, nozzle for the Adventure Team headquarters. This is the hook for the Adventure Team Headquarters. So now I just gotta get a, a little length of a rubber hose to stick between the two. Uh, here is a 3D printed coat hanger and sliding hook for the Adventure Team Headquarters. I bought a four pack from him. Uh, you know, they're the original ads for the Adventure Team Headquarters advertise that there's four hangers, four hooks. I got this Japanese uh, Soldier of the World reproduction pistol from Cotswold. I got a, a 45, you know, to, to go in my foot locker. This pair of green olive drab, uh, or not quite olive drab, but green, dark green pants to, um, you know, see if they work good on my uh, German soldier. Uh, I got this uh, World Peacekeepers enemy commando figure. Look at that uh, scary, uh, you know, scary image there, the guy with the chainsaw. Uh, you know, this was only $13.99 on, on their website. It's like an unreal, amazing deal. It comes with really cool accessories, you know, a little AK-47 and that snub nose pistol is super cool. So open him up and uh, he can he can be the enemy of, uh, one of the enemies of my adventure team and G.I. Joe's. And, uh, then I got a Cotswold body. Combined it with the Cosmic Joe head from White Elephant Toys. And got the Vietnam fatigues that Cotswold just put out. Got some olive drab boots, olive drab Adventure Team holster, and the uh, you know typical uh, you know Adventure Team revolver. And uh, you know made my own imaginary figure. You know, let's say like when the Adventure Team when 12 inch GI Joe ended in 1976, and instead of creating Super Joe the next year, maybe they made like a line of uh, you know, Air Force, Marines, Navy, and Army figures uh, for the late 70s. And this would be like your Vietnam soldier, maybe like your, your Marine or Army infantry soldier uh, with that 70s, really 70s-esque looking head sculpt. I think it looks looks really good like that. Uh, I also got this, I think it was an M1 rifle for my uh, G.I. Joe action soldier. And uh, finally, the last thing I picked up was this really cool, um, you know, 1994 G.I. Joe Collector's Convention program. Uh, I'll probably thumb through this in a separate video. Set the camera up and read through for you guys. So yeah, that's just a little mail call that I got today, a little mailbox, a uh, couple things I wanted to show you guys. So this is Mike from G.I. Dojo. Have a good one. Uh, one more thing I had to note before I let you guys go. This new this new set of fatigues, these uh, Tiger Stripe fatigues, is absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, super high quality. But the one thing I wanted to note is, at least on my um, set that I got, the armholes were sewn really tight. And that looks really good. It makes for a nice, you know, nice fit for the G.I. Joes. But you will have to remove the hands to place it on the figure. So... You know, I would be uh, scared, you know, if I had to remove like a 50-year-old Joe's hands. It wasn't a big deal because I, uh, uh, you know, I'm using a Cotswold body. But um, just just a little warning that if you plan on putting this on your childhood, you know, action soldier you've had since 1964, uh, you know, I would be scared to remove the hands. And thus, you know, you won't really be able to get this on the figure. So just something to look out for. And it could have just been my... Uh, you know, my version of the uniform, the one that was shipped to me. So anyway, have a good one, guys.